today's tutorial we are going to talk about the new feature called graphs in the CapCut app it has been recently added to the version 4.6.0 so please go to the Google Play Store and check if this version or this update is available for you or not in case it is not available then I have given the download link to the APK file in the description so you can download it after installing if you are still having issue that you cannot use the app or there is a error like no internet connection or something like that because it is happening in some countries and for that the simple solution is to use the VPN app I have checked myself the turbo VPN app and it works perfectly fine so please download the turbo VPN and then set the country to Singapore because if you set the country to the Singapore then everything works very fine in the CapCut app if you want me to make a tutorial that how to download install VPN app and set Singapore and then download the CapCut app or its update then please let me know in the comment section I will make the tutorial for that so without further delay let's start the today's tutorial about the graph feature here I am going to use an example of bouncing ball animation or we are going to create the bouncing ball animation and using this example it would be very clear for you guys how the graphs work so I have downloaded two images from Pixabay which one is uh, the empty room scene and another is let's say the basketball the link to download the same images is in the description if you want to use them so tap on the new project to create a new project go to the location wherever your media is located in my case I'm going to select first the empty room image so tap on add to add it it will be added to the main track and by default the total timing of this layer is 3 seconds now tap on overlay tap on add overlay and let's select the second image which is a basketball itself tap on add the size of this image is very large it is covering the whole room and it doesn't look realistic using the two fingers we can let's say zoom out or reduce the size of this image or the basketball and this much looks realistic compared to the size of room itself now where to find the graphs option it is available for any layer so you can select the main track or even the overlay layer and let's scroll these options at the bottom and you should see graphs at the very end I can select the basketball image and if I scroll I still see the same option so for any layer this option should be available let's select the graphs and you will see there is a message saying use graphs to customize transitions between the keyframes and ease in ease out flow bounce all these options if you can see they are grayed out it means you can't use them currently why it is so because we haven't added any keyframes if you have seen my different tutorials then you must be aware about the keyframes and you must be aware that how we can do different types of animations with the help of the keyframes and to do any animation we at least need two keyframes and keyframe is nothing but this diamond shape button with plus sign near to the play button so to create the bouncing ball animation we have to have a moment of this basketball yeah so it's like falling from the air towards the floor and then going a little bit up again touching the floor and then it stops after bouncing one or two times and for that we have to use the keyframe so first tap on this diamond shape button to add the very first keyframe at the start and let's position this basketball a little bit higher so this first keyframe is representing the basketball position the initial position of the basketball which is in the air let's go to the end of the timeline and just drag the basketball toward the floor till it seems like it is making the contact with the floor and as you can see the keyframe has been added automatically so manually at least we have to add one keyframe and the next keyframes will be added automatically if you change some parameters like here in this case we have changed the position of the basketball if you scale up scale down zoom in zoom out rotate it or change the opacity or whatever you do so the different properties of that layer if you change after adding one keyframe and move the timing to the another timing so from 0 second to let's say 1 2 or 3rd second and if you do any changes 
keyframe should be added automatically and that's how you create the animation in the cap tab let's go to the beginning and tap on the play button to see it so as you can see using the two keyframes the animation has been added but it's very slow and the basketball is falling at let's say the constant rate the speed is very same it is not looking realistic and using the graphs we can make it more interesting and more realistic now tap on graphs and that message which you saw earlier is not there anymore and all these presets is in is out flow bounce they are now selectable so you can select them which was not the case earlier and this is because now we have the keyframes on our basketball layer so first we will check the different presets what they do and then we will talk about the custom because anyway we need to go into the custom to create the bouncing ball animation so tap on is in and let's check what is happening so as you can see initially the dropping speed of the basketball was very slow it was let's say for a moment stationary in the same position and then gradually the speed of dropping increased so let's go to the edit so tap on the edit and as you can see this green line is nothing but the graph for that falling animation and at the bottom you can see it's almost flat and therefore it was not let's say moving earlier and as the graph is going to increase gradually the speed of falling is also going to increase and you can move this white line manually or you can tap on the play button and it will start moving so let's say if i move it so initially till here nothing is happening and then suddenly the speed of falling is increasing there is a reset button so let's say if we did some changes like adding a beat to it and we will talk all these uh, things later in detail but uh, i'm just trying to show you that in case you messed up the preset you can tap on the reset confirm it and it will go back to its original shape let's check another graph is out let's tap on that and as you can see it is exactly the opposite so initially the speed of falling is very fast and as it reaches the end it's almost let's say nothing happening yeah, it, it has already touched the ground before the third second tap on ok let's check flow so the ball is bouncing but in the air which is also not realistic let's check the bounce so in the air it is making say the bouncing animation but again it is not realistic and the name mm, it's it's not correct yeah so bouncing should be like it is going till the end and then going up a little bit going down and so on let's go to the edit because i want to show you the different things on this window so first if you see there are white circles on the graph and they are nothing but let's say feet i will move the white line and as soon as it is over the circle it becomes white or inside of that circle is filled with a white color and you can see the button has been activated which is called delete feet so if i tap on that it will basically delete the feet and if i want to add that beat i can tap on add beat and it will be added so why it is called beat because let's say if you want to do the cool animations using the bits of your music or the audio then this will be very helpful in that case and you can uh, hold this point and you can let's say move it anywhere but you can't go beyond the next bit so for example if i say select the second one i can't go to the left beyond the the left hand side bit and i can't go beyond the next right hand side bit and if i tap on again the reset it will reset itself so this white line is nothing but moving from zero second and when it reaches the right hand rightmost position it means it is the end of that keyframe or the it is the position of the second keyframe in our case it is the three seconds so this total timing of the horizontal line is let's say three seconds tap on ok 
so for the bouncing basketball animation none of the presets are working or like we are expecting and for that we have to use the custom option so tap on the custom and as soon as you tap it is nothing but our initial or the default animation when we added the two keyframes it was falling at a constant speed so let's go to the edit and as you can see it is nothing but a straight diagonal line if you have learned graphs in the math subject then you should understand the reason why it was falling at the constant rate or the constant speed this white line is nothing but the let's say the representation of the time so if it is on the very left hand side it means it is the start of the or the it, it, it is the position of the first keyframe which is at zero second if i move towards the right the rightmost position is nothing but the position of the second keyframe which was added at the third second in the middle it means that half of the three seconds so it at this position the timing will be 1.5 seconds and these vertical lines or not, not vertical lines sorry the horizontal lines are nothing but the that parameter yeah the position of the basketball we are changing so currently they represent the position of the basketball the bottom most means the position of the basketball corresponding to the very first keyframe and for the very first keyframe the basketball is at the top in the air if i drag this circle towards the topmost horizontal line then it will represent the second position of the basketball which is on the floor so i think you are understanding what these lines mean because if you have understood it then it would be easy for you to adjust the graphs according to your needs if i move the white line and create this animation so what is happening is the ball is touching the ground at 1.5 second itself which was touching at the third second in initial animation so it has become let's say two times faster if i drag this point towards the left then again it will become more faster and the rest of the green line represent that from let's say one second till the third second nothing is happening the ball has already reached the ground if i drag this towards let's say the right and play the animation from the beginning so again it is a little bit slow but in the end portion nothing is happening again if i bring it down and play the animation again so for few seconds nothing will happen and suddenly the ball will drop in the very last timing of the animation so maybe let's say from two seconds to the third second so that is what this whole area means and you can add and remove the bits like i already explained you and for bouncing animation what we need to do is we need to add some bits and adjust their position so just to represent that how the bouncing will look like yeah so ball will fall from the top to the floor it will go up again touch the ground it will go a little bit up and then again touch the ground and it will stay on the ground so this is how the bouncing animation should be and this exactly we need to represent here on the course so how it can be done let's check it we will need some bits so let's start adding the bits to it tap on add bit and move the bit on the left and on the top so what is happening if i go back and move this white line so at the very first beat the basketball is already touching the ground now adjust the second beat around here so what is happening between these two bits is the basketball is again going up because as i already told you these horizontal lines represent the position of the basketball so if i drag it completely down it will go to the very top but in reality the basketball will lose some energy so it won't go again to the same height it has to be around in the middle now move the white line a little bit further add the bit 
and drag this point on the top because it should touch the ground again from this bit to the next bit. Move the timing a little bit further, tap on add bit, drag it down a little bit. So what is happening is it is touching the ground and again bouncing but not to the same height like the previous bit but to a lesser height compared to the previous bit. And at the end again add one bit, drag it to the top. Let's preview the animation from the start how it looks like. So as you see, this is how using the graphs you can create the bouncing ball animation. And obviously to look it more realistic, you can adjust the graphs. So it should be, let's say a symmetrical graph, a little bit like this. And let's check it again. Click on OK to apply that graph. Again, click on OK. And tap on 1080p button, change the frame rate to 60 so that the playback is very smooth and tap on the arrow button to export the video and that's how you create very smooth animations using the graphs so if you like this video and if you learn something about the graphs then please like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more CapCut related tutorials then there is a link of the playlist in the description if you are interested in to the alight motion app also then there is a second link for the alight motion tutorials so please check that playlist also thanks for watching stay safe and stay healthy